We are here to uh, do an attic inspection for bats and uh, perform the service for exclusion. Has um, had bats in the living spaces, and I'm here to inspect, look around, and see um, where bats have been coming in. Uh, looking for signs of activity. Um, I go and I look at peaks in attic spaces. Look for daylight that leads to the outside. Look at vents, signs of bat activity. Uh, the bat droppings um, usually land below where they roost. When inspecting the exterior, what I look for is any gap that is quarter inch or bigger. Typically bats use existing holes um, and force or wiggle themselves into areas. As you look up a peak up here, is an entry hole with some rub marks where bats have entered. And right below there you can see some evidence of bat droppings from them coming and going in this specific area. This will be a spot where I will install a bat door to allow them to come out naturally. Here's a small section where they snuck underneath the soffit fascia boards and gotten into the attic space. Next step would be uh, start closing things up. A lot of materials that I use for closing is um, of course caulk, uh, backer rod, and you have certain devices like a bat valve which gets put in the entry holes. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do here is get the bat valve or bat door in place and find some sealant just to tighten up this area so bats are forced to come out of the bat valve and not around it. Okay, here is the uh, bat valve or bat door installed in the peak where the bats have been coming and going. This will stay on for a few weeks allowing all bats to leave the space naturally without causing harm. You also see that I have a nice bead of caulk underneath the fascia board where it meets the brick keeping the bats from sneaking around or getting underneath the fascia board. So the next step that I do is I make sure everything's nice and tight um, we'll run a bead of caulk from the peak all the way down to the ends of the fascia boards. Just make sure it's nice and tight and um, not allowing any bats to find a new spot from one corner down to the other corner. All right. Um, this uh, vent chute, which was originally open, I uh, installed a screening over the exit here into the attic to keep bats from getting into the attic area. Very important thing about handling bats is the cleanup. Uh, if there is bat guano that is an attic space, you want to make sure you're wearing the proper gear, gloves. Basically, all I'm doing is sweeping up, make a nice pile. Sometimes you gotta scrape things up. The last step I'd like to do after cleaning up little areas like this is disinfecting it with the spray. This kills uh, any lingering bacteria or any uh, bad bugs that have developed out of the feces. All right, so right now I'm just wrapping up this exclusion service, just fine-tuning a couple of spots. But after I leave today, I'll be back in a couple of weeks just to check on everything, inspect the attic, see if there's any activity there, any signs of droppings, and then remove the bat valve from the areas where the bats are getting in. Um, up in the back corner, there was a bat valve up there. That would be pulled off and then um, all touched up and sealed. And everything should be all closed up, not allowing bats to get back into the attic areas.